Hi everyone, this is your Dr. Bitla Venu. In this video, I am going to discuss the example problems in projections of solids. In my last session, I was discussed uh, the one example in projections of solids, uh, taking uh, one square solid which is lying with the base of the square solid, I mean square pyramid is lying on horizontal plane. Then in this session, I am going to discuss the few more examples in projections of solids, cylinder, cone, and uh, another example I am going to consider, a cube also I am going to consider in this session. Let me move further to take one example now. I read out the problem here and uh, a cone 40 mm diameter and 50 mm axis is resting on one generator on HP, which makes 30 degrees inclination with vertical plane, draw its projections. This is what the problem, given problem, a cone of 40 mm diameter and its height 50 mm uh, is resting one of the generator lying on horizontal plane. That means the a cone is lying on the horizontal plane such a way that its generator is resting on the horizontal plane. And also the axis of this cone is making 30 degrees inclination with vertical plane. These are the two conditions to be considered in this problem. By considering these two conditions, we proceed further to solve this problem. In the problem, it is mentioned that it is lying on horizontal plane. So assuming that the cone is, the base of the cone is lying on horizontal plane, then we need to draw the front view and top view. When the base of the cone is lying on the horizontal plane, the front view will be the true shape. So that we need to draw the top view of the cone first, then we need to project the top view to get the front view. Let me start the problem, draw an XY line first. Then draw a circle, which will be the top view for the cone. That means when you see the cone from the top, we will get a circle. This circle should be below the XY line. That means it will be the top, whatever we draw below the XY line indicates the top or top view then whatever we draw above xy line will indicate the front view after drawing the circle then divide the circle into convenient equal number of divisions like this say in this case i am dividing the circle eight equal divisions i am naming all those points as a b c d up to h after giving the notations after naming all the division point then project all those points to the xy line like this then draw a vertical line from the center of the cone then take the compass at a height of 50 mm at a height of 50 mm get an apex point then join the apex point and as well as point a and point e which are the edges of the cone when you see from the front i am naming this point as A dash and B dash. Similarly, this will become D dash and E dash. At the center, we will get C dash and G dash like this. This will be the front view. This will be the top view and this figure will be the front view. When the base of the cone is completely resting on HP, when you see the cone from top, it is a triangle. When you see the cone from the front, it is a triangle. When you see the cone from the top, it is a circle. Oh, we have drawn these two views, assuming that the cone is, the base of the cone is resting on horizontal plane. But originally the cone position is not like that. Initially we are assumed in this way and these projections are useful to draw the, or to apply the conditions given in the problem. The given conditions in the problem is, one of the generator is lying on horizontal plane and the axis of the cone is making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical plane. These are the two conditions given in the problem. 
But in this case, assuming that it is lying on horizontal plane, the base is lying on horizontal plane, it looks like a triangle like this. Then we need to twist this such a way that the generator is lying on the horizontal plane exactly like this. So locate a point, I am twisting this cone right side so that E point, locate a E dash point at a convenient location on the XY line like this first, then take the compass, then get the height E dash O dash, locate O dash point with the help of the compass and take this height E dash O dash, then get the O dash point on the XY line, then take the compass, then take O dash O dash, A dash O dash radius, O dash as center, get an arc here or draw an arc here, then A dash E dash as radius in the compass, then E dash as center intersect the previous arc to get A, A dash point. Then join all these three points, A, a dash, O dash, and E dash, which indicates the cone when the cone is when one of the generator of the cone is lying on the horizontal plane. When you see from the top, when one of the generator is completely lying on the horizontal plane, it looks like this. Then draw a perpendicular to A dash, E dash, which must pass from O dash, which gives the center line of this cone then locate all the points such as h dash b dash c dash dj g dash f dash d dash using the compass with a convenient uh, by taking e dash a dash as center locate all these points with the help of the compass this will be the front view when one of the generator is resting on the horizontal plane this will be the front view. Then when you see from the top and project all these points downwards or to draw the top view of the cone when it is resting on the horizontal plane, when one of the generator is resting on the horizontal plane, project all those points downwards from the different points of the cone. Then draw the horizontal lines from the top view of the cone when the base is resting on the horizontal plane to get the intersection points for the top view when one of the generator is lying on the horizontal plane. Get all those points, similarly project O dash point and center line here. Then locate all these points, get all the intersection points just like this A and A dash a dash and A1, we will get an intersection point. H and H dash, we will get one point. Similarly, G dash, we will get here. And G, we will get an intersection point. Get all those points. Join all those points as a smooth curve to get the top view of the cone when, of the, when one of the generator is lying on the horizontal plane like this. Then the other condition given in the problem is the axis of the cone is also making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical plane. This condition is also needs to be applied along with the first condition given that is the one of the generator is lying on the horizontal plane. For that we have drawn the projections and to apply or to draw the projections of the cone when the axis is making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical draw a line incline line at an angle 30 degrees below the xy line draw an, draw an incline line at an angle of 30 degrees with xy line below the xy line like this then take the compass o dash g dash and o dash e dash then all, look at all these points at the convenient look, I mean, at the convenient uh, locations. Otherwise, take the compass O dash A dash as center. Locate A dash point here. O dash E dash as center, and locate E one point. And similarly, get all those points using the compass. Join all those points to get the top view of the cone 
when the axis is making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical plane. And this will become our O1 when the axis is making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical plane and give the same convention, same naming convention because we are twisting the cone when the axis of the cone is making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical like this. These two figures are exactly similar, but the first case is when the axis is, when, when one of the generator is lying on the horizontal plane. And the second case is when the axis is making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical. In the second case, we have drawn the top view, but we have to draw the front view in this case also. Project all the points from the top. Project all the points from the top and draw the horizontal lines from the first case, front view of the first case, like this. The top view of the second case and front view of the first case. The first case is when one of the generator is lying on HP. This is the front view. When the axis of the cone is making an angle 30 degrees with VP, this will be the top view. So we will get the intersection points at the different locations. Join all those points as a smooth curve to get the front view of the cone when the axis is making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical. This is the problem of cone when one of the generator is lying on the horizontal plane as well as the axis is making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical. Then I will take one more problem. A cylinder of 40 mm diameter and 50 mm axis is resting on one point of a base circle on VP while it is while its axis makes an angle of 45 degrees with VP and the front view of the axis makes an angle of 35 degrees with the horizontal plane. In this case also, we have two considerations or the two cases. The first case is the cylinder is resting on one point of the base circle on vertical plane. That means the cylinder is lying on the vertical plane in such a way that the point of the base is making an angle, the, not the point of the base. The axis of the cylinder is making an angle 45 degrees with the vertical plane. Then the axis of the cylinder is also making an angle of 35 degrees with the horizontal plane. These are the two cases. To this, we have to, initially we have to assume that the cylinder, the base of the cylinder is lying in a vertical plane. Then we have to draw the projections, assuming that the base is lying in the vertical plane. When any of the object is lying in the vertical plane, front view will be the true shape. First, we have to draw the front view. It is a circle so that it is a cylinder, we will get a circle in front view. Draw an XY line like this and draw the front view, which will be the true shape of the cylinder when the base is lying in the vertical plane. Then divide this circle into convenient equal number of divisions like this and name all those points as one, two, one, two three, four. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash on the top and at the bottom name all those points as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. Then project those points downwards or below the XY line to get the top view like this because we knew the height of the cylinder. So with that height then draw a rectangle with the diameter given. Then name all those points. The top points are A, B, C, D, and the bottom points are one dash and one, two, three, four, like this. 
then draw an inclined line and apply the first case the first case is when one of the point of the base is touching to the vertical plane or lying on the vertical plane and the axis of the cylinder is making an angle 45 degrees with the vertical plane it is making an angle 45 degrees with the vertical plane so that we have to draw the inclined line below the x y line when any of the object is making an angle with the vertical plane we have to draw the inclined line below the x y line when any of the object is making an angle with the horizontal plane we need to draw the line above the x y line but in this case the axis of the cylinder is making an angle 45 degrees with the vertical plane so that i am drawing an inclined line below the x y line at an angle of 45 degrees like this in this case and the one of the point of the base of the cylinder is touching to the vertical plane that means we have to draw a perpendicular to this inclined line in such a way that it should start and it should touch to the x y line like this we should project the same top same top view whatever we have drawn assuming initial case that is when the base of the cylinder is lying in the horizontal plane same top view we will get but at an angle of 45 degrees now it is vertical the axis is perpendicular to the vertical plane but now it is 45 degrees with the vertical plane as you can observe in this figure name the same points a b c d and 1 2 3 4 and this will become the top view of the cylinder when one of the point of the cylinder is touching to the vertical plane and the axis of the cylinder is making an angle 45 degrees with the vertical plane same figure we will get but at an angle of 45 degrees take the compass and look at all these points we know the height we know the diameter get the dimension all the name all those points top and bottom to the cylinder as we have given in the top view of the initial assumption then in the first case this is the top view when the axis is making an, uh, making an angle of 45 degrees and one of the point is touching to the vertical plane then to get the front view in this case project all these points upwards above the x y line from all the points of the top and bottom of the cylinder from the top view when the axis is at an angle of 45 degrees then draw the horizontal lines from the front view of the cylinder when the base is completely lying in the vertical plane like this get all the intersection points like this then name all those points a dash b dash c dash d dash and as well as one two 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash join all those points as a smooth curve to get the front view of the cylinder when the axis of the cylinder is making an angle 45 degrees with the vertical plane and as well as the point of the base is touching the vertical plane like this join all those points using the french curves or with the free hand as a smooth curve to get the front view like this we will get one dotted line here because when you see from the front we cannot see this edge d dash c dash and b dash edge we cannot see from the front so that i am indicating that line as a dotted line this is the top view and front view of the cylinder for the first case that is when the axis is making an angle 45 degrees with vertical plane and the one point of the base is touching the vertical plane 
then we have to consider the second case also the second case in this case is the axis of the cylinder is also making an angle of 35 degrees with the horizontal plane as i said just now whenever in the problem it is whenever in the problem if it specifies that if any of the object is making an angle with a vertical plane we have to draw below the x y line then any of the and any of the object axis is making an angle with the horizontal plane we have to draw above the x y line we need to remember these two assumptions then proceed further to draw the projections of any of the object with hp or vp then to draw the projections of the cylinder when it is making an angle of 35 degrees with hp draw an inclined line at an angle of 35 degrees with the xy line above the xy line similar shape we will get when the axis is making an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical plane but in this case the axis is parallel to hp only similar shape we will get then we have to twist this front view at an angle of 35 degrees with the xy line as well as above the xy line draw an inclined line at an angle of 35 degrees specified in the problem take the compass and locate all these points on this inclined line using the compass then join all those points to get the smooth curve as well as the total figure which indicates the front view of the cylinder when it is making an angle 35 degrees with the horizontal plane then to get the top view in this case then project all these points downwards that is below xy line like this then draw the horizontal lines from the top view of the cylinder when it is making an angle of 45 degrees with vp like this to get all the intersection points to draw the top view of the cylinder when it is making an angle of 35 degrees like this after getting all the intersection points from the top view of the first case and front view of the second case then join all those points as a smooth curve to get the top view of the cylinder of the second case like this then i proceed further to see the one more problem a square pyramid of 30 mm base side and 50 mm long axis is resting on its apex on hp such that its one slant edge is vertical and a triangular face is perpendicular to vertical plane draw the projections i read out the problem once again a square pyramid of side having 30 mm base side 30 mm and height of the pyramid is 50 mm is resting on apex on hp that means the square pyramid is lying in such a way that the apex is lying or touching on horizontal plane then one of the slant edge is vertical these are the two conditions it is lying in such a way that it, its apex is lying on the horizontal plane along with that the one slant edge is vertical to the horizontal plane that means one slant edge is perpendicular to the horizontal plane and one of the triangular face is perpendicular to the vertical plane these are the two conditions we need to consider when the apex of the square pyramid is lying on the on the horizontal plane to project the to draw the projections in this case first you draw in the problem it is specified that it is lying on the horizontal plane which may be either apex or the base assuming that it is lying in the horizontal plane draw the projections 
assuming that it is lying on the horizontal plane. Then in this case, the apex is lying on the horizontal plane. So when any of the object is lying on the horizontal plane, we have to draw the top view first. If any of the object is lying in the vertical plane, we have to draw the front view, first, front, front view first. Because we have to draw the true shape first, then we have to project or use that shape to get the other projection. In this case, I am drawing the pyramid, square pyramid, top view, below the XY line, in such a way that all the edges are making equal angles with the vertical plane like this. Then project all those points or draw the diagonals which you cannot see from the top so that I am indicating the diagonals as the dotted lines. I am naming all those corners of the base of the pyramid as A, B, C, D like this. Then project all those points and finally the diagonals where are going to intersect that point will become the apex when you see from the top. Even apex also you cannot see from the top view in this case. Then we have to draw the front view, project all those points from the top to get the front view of the square pyramid when apex lies on the horizontal plane like this. We have the height of the pyramid then we know the side base, project all those points and get a point here exactly at the uh, projection point O should be projected upwards to get an intersection point on the XY line. Then we will get O dash here. Then take the compass and take 50 mm height in that compass. Get a point here. Draw a construction line and get a point here then project C upwards and also project corner A upwards to get the front view and as well as draw a thick line at the center of this cone which will become the edge that you can see from the front. This is exactly the front view of the pyramid when the apex lies on the horizontal plane and this will become the top view. Then name all those points as A dash, B dash, D dash, and C dash like this. Then the first condition given in the problem is one slant edge is vertical. This is the first condition given. With that condition, in this case, the slant edge is inclined now. Now we have to draw the cone such that one of the slant edge should be vertical. Now it is making some angle with the horizontal plane. The first case is this slant should be vertical to the horizontal plane. Now draw, take a compass, take a compass and locate O dash point conveniently on the XY line draw a construction line which is vertical to x y then take the compass and take the length o dash a dash with o dash as center and locate a dash point then similarly take the compass o dash c dash as radius with o dash as center draw an arc here then take the compass a dash C dash as radius with A dash as center intersect the previous arc to get C dash point. Then join O dash A dash and C dash to get the front view of the square pyramid when one slant edge is perpendicular to the horizontal plane like this. Then also draw a perpendicular to A dash C dash exactly at the middle which must pass from O dash that will become the edge of the square pyramid when we see from the front when one slant edge is vertical. This is the 
front view of the square pyramid when one slant edge is vertical to the horizontal plane. Then project all these points down or below the XY line to get the top view of the square pyramid when one axis is perpendicular to HY like this. Then draw the horizontal lines and draw the projection lines from the top view of the pyramid when exactly one of the point lies on the or the apex lies on the horizontal plane. Draw the horizontal lines from the top view of the square pyramid when the apex lies on the horizontal plane like this. Then get all the intersection points from the top, from the front view as well as the top view like this. Then join all those points to get the shape or to get the top view of the pyramid when one slant edge is perpendicular to HP. Name all those points as O1, A1, B1, C1, and D1 like this. Then also indicate the dotted line, which is the edge that we cannot see from the front. Then the second condition given in the problem is one of the edge, one of the triangular face is perpendicular to vertical plane. This is what the condition given, the second condition given in the problem. The first condition is slant edge is perpendicular to HP. Then one triangular face is perpendicular to the vertical plane. To that case, we have to draw the front view and top view. Exactly, we will get the same shape, but the difference is this edge or one edge of this top view must be perpendicular to x, y line in the top view. Construct the same shape such that one edge of the triangular face must be perpendicular to x, y line from the top view of the first case. Then also indicate the dotted line for the edge that you cannot see from the top. Then project all these points from the second case of the top view. Then draw the horizontal lines or the projectors from the front view of the first case. That is when, the, when one slant edge of the square pyramid is perpendicular to horizontal plane like this. Also project the apex to get the apex points apex point for the front view of the square pyramid when one triangular face is perpendicular to the vertical plane. Locate all those points and name all those points as A dash, B dash, C dash, and finally D1 dash, A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash and D1 dash. Also get the O1 dash. Join all those points as shown in this figure to get the front view of the square pyramid when one triangular face is perpendicular to vertical plane like this. This is what the problem for the given condition. Then I move forward to draw the projections by considering another figure that is a cone of 50 mm long edges, long edges, so placed on HP on one corner that a body diagonal is parallel to horizontal plane and perpendicular to VP. Draw the projections. I read out the problem once again. A cube of 50 mm long edges, so placed on HP on one corner edge that a body diagonal is perpendicular to HP. The diagonal of the cube is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. 
these are the two conditions given in the problem the first condition is the diagonal of the cube is parallel to horizontal plane and also perpendicular to vertical plane with these two conditions we have to draw the projections of the cube so initially we need to assume that it is lying on horizontal plane draw the projections to that we have to draw the x y line first then draw the top view first as i said when any of the object is lying on the horizontal plane the top view will be drawn first in this case i am also drawing the top view of the cube i will get a cube like this i have drawn the top view such that the all the sides of the cube makes an equal angle with the vertical plane like this then i am projecting all those points upwards to get the front view of the cube when all the edges of the cube makes an equal angles with the vertical plane and name all the points are the corners in top view and front view as given in this figure like this in top view i am naming all the corners as a b c d in front view i am naming all those points as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash at the bottom and on the top of the cube i am naming all the points are of the corners as a dash to d dash like that then i am joining after drawing the top view and front view of the cube assuming that it is lying on the horizontal plane then get the diagonal by connecting 3 dash and c dash like this then draw the perpendicular to the principal diagonal to connect 1 dash so after drawing the projector draw the perpendicular to the principal diagonal which must connect 1 dash as well as this line in the, is also perpendicular to 3 dash and c dash then we have to assume the first as well as the second condition first i am assuming the first condition that is the diagonal the body diagonal is parallel to hp this is the first condition that means this diagonal should be horizontal to xy line we need to draw the projections of the cube such that the diagonal should be horizontal or should be parallel to x y line which is the horizontal plane then i am naming this point as p dash then draw a horizontal line and locate p dash point using the compass conveniently above the x y line then draw the horizontal line and take the compass and get the p dash 3 dash length using the compass with p dash as center locate 3 dash point and this will become the diagonal 3 dash p dash will become diagonal and this will be the perpendicular above the horizontal plane and this is also touching this cube is also touching at point 1 dash on the horizontal plane so after indicating after drawing the uh, diagonal as a uh, as a horizontal line then project all those points or get all those points using the compass conveniently using 3 dash and 1 dash point locate the other points also like this then join after join after drawing 3 dash p dash then get the compass then with 1 dash as center with 1 dash 3 dash as radius intersect 3 dash c dash otherwise blindly you can join 3 dash and 1 dash then draw a perpendicular to 3 dash 1 dash at the height that that is 50 and get a dash point and similarly take the compass 
draw a construction line which is parallel to 3 dash 1 dash get the compass and locate b dash d dash also locate and join b dash d dash and c dash and follow your convention and procedure to draw the front view of the cube when one point or one edge of the cube is touching the horizontal plane in such a way that the diagonal is horizontal or parallel to the horizontal plane like this. After drawing the front view of the cube when the diagonal is parallel to the horizontal plane to draw the top view in this case project all the points from the front view below the xy line like this and draw the projectiles from the top view of the initial assumption to get the intersection points for the top view of the second case so get all those points uh, conveniently then join all those points to get the top view of the cube for the first case that is when one edge is lying on the horizontal plane such that its diagonal is parallel to hp that is xy line the second condition is the diagonal is also perpendicular to vertical plane so in that case and the diagonal this di this diagonal is horizontal so we need to make this diagonal we need to draw the projection of this same figure but this diagonal should be perpendicular to x y line that is vertical line so draw a vertical line or perpendicular line to x y then taking the compass get all those points to get the top view of the cube when the diagonal is perpendicular to vp like this name all those points as given in the first as given in the first condition then project all those points upwards above x y line then draw the projectors from the front view of the first case then get all those points to get the front view when one when the, when the diagonal of the cube is perpendicular to vp like this then name all those points as a1 dash then b1 dash c1 dash and d1 dash like this then also indicates indicate the dotted lines the edges which you cannot see from the front so this is the edge that you cannot see and as well as this c1 dash and d1 dash also you cannot see these two edges must be indicated and as well as this edge is also you cannot see one dash c dash these three edges must be indicated as the dotted lines which you cannot see from the front similarly in the first case also there are three edges those edges you cannot see from the top those edges also needs to be drawn as the dotted lines as like this this is the problem of the case when one edge of the cube is touching on the horizontal plane or lying on the horizontal plane such that the diagonal is parallel to horizontal plane. Similarly, the diagonal is also perpendicular to the vertical plane. This is the case, first case and second case. Then in this session, I have discussed four problems. Q, I have discussed. Then I, I have also discussed the uh, square pyramid when apex lies on the horizontal plane, one uh, such that one edge is perpendicular to HP, and also one triangular face is perpendicular to vertical plane. This is the case we took in this. Now then. Uh, the cylinder problem also we considered such that the uh, the axis of the cylinder is 45 degrees with the vertical plane and the axis is also making an angle 35 degrees with the horizontal plane 
this problem also we are considered in this session the other problem that we are considered in this session is the cone problem the conditions given in the problem is one of the generator is lying on the horizontal plane and the axis of this cone is also making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical plane that also we are considered in this session the first problem okay uh, these are the four, four problems we are considered in this session and in the next session uh, i will take some more uh, problems otherwise i will start the new chapter uh, which may be the isometric projections in the next session thank you thank you one and all